Okay, so now that I've got the modified quill belt drive figured out, uh, all that's left to do now is just run it and see how well she does. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start working on the power drawbar. So I've got my air cylinder. This is an 80 millimeter bore air cylinder. I originally had planned to go with a 100 millimeter bore. However, because of the space, limited space on top of the head, uh, the 80 millimeter works out a little bit better. Uh, eventually I'll move over to a bigger motor and so I'm going to have to machine out a wider spacer and when I do that I'll be able to move over to a hundred millimeter bore uh, if I want to. The issue with the 80 millimeter bore is in order to get enough force to compress the Belleville washers uh, I'm gonna have to have about 175 PSI uh, to use this cylinder to get the compression on these Bellevilles. So that's not an issue. I've got a compressor that will handle handle that. Uh, however, with the 100 millimeter bore air cylinder, 100 PSI will work just fine. So that's the difference between the two. I'm also going to be using uh, some inch and a half stainless steel bar stock here for my top hat. Uh, I just happen to have it, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to be using some threaded rod for my draw bar. Uh, this is just to get it all mocked up so I'll know exactly how long it is. Once I get all that figured out, I can make a draw bar. I'm going to be using a inch and three quarter nut and this will screw on to the draw bar. I'm going to leave about a half of an inch of it hex and the rest will be turned down as a sleeve to go down through uh, the Belleville washers like so and a little bit of it will go down in the top hat and this will keep everything lined up and symmetrical on the spindle. So there's quite a little bit, uh, quite a bit of little small projects that need to be done in order to mount the power draw bar. I've got to make some risers and lift plate as well. But before I can do all that, I really need to get the draw bar figured out. So that's what we're going to start on today. We're going to get the draw bar. Uh, and start working on that. So first I want to turn down this uh, long hex nut and make make it so that it'll slide down inside the Belleville washers. So let's go out to the lathe and uh, we'll do that. Alright so I've center drilled the threaded rod and now I'm going to Connect the tailstock here, and that should keep it from flexing. I've got a jam nut here. I want to turn this nut on the thread, otherwise uh, it may not be concentric. So this is the simplest way I, I know to do that. So hopefully this will turn out well. I want to make sure that I'm going to clear everything. And it looks like that I will. So I'm going to take a look at Mach 3. And you can see that our X limits 0.2257 and our Z limits is 0.169 in the positive so right now we're currently at 0.2035 so I don't think I'm going back uh, 
any further than that so that should clear all right I've taken a small turning and measured that and then before moving my X I typed that into the DRO to get my diameter and we should be good and now it's just a matter of running the G code chip my insert there finish doesn't look that great so that's a good possibility all right check that dimension there make sure we're good well, all right so I've got my pieces turned uh, as you can see it's smooth here and then there's just a little bit of a taper here at the very end uh, this portion right here, about a quarter inch down, will fit in, down in the top of the spindle. And the rest of this will just keep the Belleville washers lined up. So I've cut my threaded drawbar here, my uh, 7 sixteenths all thread. I've cut it to length. And so what I want to do is I'm just going to screw this on and I'm going to Loctite it. I may come back and just put a, a weld at the top, but I don't think I'll need to. I'm going to be using this uh, 638. This is retaining compound. Um, this stuff is high strength and you'll need some heat to get it off. So. I don't think it's going to really come off. It's pretty thick stuff. I'm going to be generous with this stuff because I don't want it to come off. Put a little bit on the rod and I'll put a little bit in the start of these threads. like so should be good and then now we'll just screw this on I've cleaned these threads up real good with some uh, carburetor cleaner so hopefully uh, we'll get good adhesion I'm just going to screw it down until it's flush with the top here Right before I get to the end, I'm going to put just a little bit more right here. Just to make sure we've got enough in there. Alright, that's pretty good. I'm going to wipe off any excess there. I 
That should be good. Our bell bills will slide over like so. And then this will slide down in our top hat. So I guess that'll wrap up this video. In the next video, we'll turn our top hat down and uh, get ready for assembly. Well, all right, so that wraps up this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, and most importantly, be safe.